What up, Facebook? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? It's Pastor Q. I'm a little late because I don't have my trusty assistant with me. Y'all praying for a little bit. Pray for a little bit. Amen. She's not feeling well today. So um, I told her to stay home. I don't want to get sick. <laughs> Come on, tag, share, post your people, tag, share, post your people, tag, share, post your people. It's time to get it popping. Tag, share, post your people. I'm going to start tag, share, and posting, tag, share, and posting. Listen, this is Tough Talk Tuesday with Pastor Q. Tough Talk Tuesday with Pastor Q is going down. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. Tag, share, post, tag, share, post. Tag share post. We're gonna uh make this make sure it is public for everybody. Amen. We're gonna make sure that we have uh everybody that need to be on be on. Listen, last week we talked about uh I'm tired of your lip service. <laughs> I'm tired of your lip service. I'm tired. I'm tired of your lip service. If you tire of people's lip service, you know, just uh, tag them, tag them, get them on, get them on, get them on, get them on. Let me adjust my uh, camera properly. I don't, I miss a little bit. I, I called her just to check on her. She said she was good. Amen. Tag share post, tag share post. I want to ensure that everybody gets a chance to um, hear what thus says the Lord on part two. Uh, the first part, I'm tired of your lip service, right? And the second part today, I'm tired of your bad body language. Uh-oh, it's going down. Your bad body language. Tired of your lip service, you always talking, but you never really saying nothing, amen. And now I'm talking about the bad body language, and I need you to understand that in your body language, it speaks volumes, right? So to maintain our redemptive uh, status and to ensure that, you know, we are still um, serving God in a respectable manner as his representatives, we have to check our body language. Uh, check your body language. I said, check your body. I, 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 it, it's going to be good. I'm just telling you, if you got some, uh, you know, some little shortcomings, you know, with your body language, tonight is the night. If you know somebody that is going to be challenged or has some challenges with their body language, tag, share, post your people, tag, share, post your people, because this right here, it's going to be a blessing to your heart. There go little bit. She on watching. Get well, baby. Get well. I miss you. I miss you. I need to see some tag share posts. Uh, God bless you. Um, uh, uh, Evangelist and trading. Tracy Flood is on with us. Deborah Adams. Come on, baby. Tag share post your people a little bit. Oh, look at uh Miss Berkman. Uh Jackman is on. Amen. Bless you, uh, mother. I'm asking that you tag share post. Stay on with us. I promise you it's gonna be a blessing to you and for you and through you. Good God Almighty. Uh come on, Sandra Miles. Tag share post your people. Tag share post your people. I'm gonna go into prayer real quick. Amen so that we can actually um uh go before the Lord. I'm I'm a little uh hype. Amen. Angie, Angela still baby, tag, share, post your people. Amen. Tough Talk Tuesday with Pastor Q. I promise you, as it blessed folks on last week, I'm tired of your lip service. Today is going to bless them as well and bless you as well. Amen. Father God, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, Father, we're asking right now that you touch your people, oh God. Touch, oh Father, those, oh God, that is going to be listening along with me as I teach, oh Father, and those that's going to listen in the future. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, I come to you, oh God, with a repentant heart, oh God, asking you to forgive me with word, thought, and deed of everything that I've done against you, yourself, myself, and your people. I'm asking, oh God, all those that's under the sound of my voice, present, and in the future, oh Father, that you too, oh God, give them a uh, grace and mercy, oh Father, for their sins, oh Father. We're asking that, oh God, that as we touch in the grief of forgiveness on you, oh Father, that you would, oh even God, douse us with forgiveness to forgive people, 
people. Hallelujah. I'm asking right now, Father, that you, oh God, give us a, a sense of urgency in forgiveness, oh God, a sense of urgency, oh God, urgency, oh Father. No one is promised tomorrow, and Father, we always think that we got tomorrow and next week and next month to make it right, but Father, a sense of urgency right now, oh Father, is being asked, oh God, that you forgive us. Oh God, allow this teaching, oh God, this series, oh Father, oh God, of re uh, redemption maintenance. Mm redemption maintenance to be oh god edifying to our spirits oh father allow it oh god to illuminate to someone else oh father in the mighty matchless name of jesus each time oh father a scripture is read allow it to give a revelation oh god to those that's reading oh god in the mighty matchless name of jesus i count it all joy oh father how you have spared my life oh father how you oh god have spared those under the sound of my voice oh god i'm asking right now oh god let us not take it for granted good god God Almighty, I thank you right now, oh God, how you, oh God, have shown us, oh Father, that you are a God that is, oh God, all hearing, all seeing, all knowing, oh Father, and you truly examine our hearts. Father, I say bless your holy name. I thank you right now, oh God, how you, oh God, have shown mercy upon us. You allowed the deaf angel, oh God, to pass us, oh God, through a car accident. You allowed the deaf angel, oh God, to pass us, oh God, through a house fire. Hallelujah. You allowed, oh God, the deaf angel to pass through us, oh Father, as we laid down, oh God, last night and woke up this morning. Hallelujah. I thank you. Now, Father, I say bless your holy name. Thank you, oh God. Allow this word, oh God, to penetrate, oh God. Convict, oh Father. Save and set free. Hallelujah. Heal, oh God, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. I feel like talking to him. Father, I say thank you. I thank you, oh God, how you've shown unmerited mercy, oh Father. Each and every time we came to your throne, oh God, dirty, oh God, filthy, oh God, unclean, oh Father, but yet you accepted us. Hallelujah. I'm thanking you, oh God, for the unmerited favor, oh God, that you've shown us, oh Father, as we cried out to you, complaining, oh God, oh God, being rebellious, oh Father, you yet, oh Father, showed us, oh God, that you are a loving God. You are God. God, I bless you. I thank you right now, oh Father, how you, oh God, has set the captives free right now, oh Father. So those, oh God, that's redeemed, oh Father, let them say, oh God, let the redeemed say, so let them, let them, oh God, let them know, oh God, that you are yet, oh God, a, a God that sits high, that looks low, oh Father. Allow them, oh God, not to be ashamed, hallelujah, not to be ashamed, hallelujah, not to be embarrassed, hallelujah, of how you have, oh God, saved them, oh God, for the wretches, oh God, that we were, oh Father. God, I say thank you. I say thank you, God. I say thank you, God. I say thank you, Father. Father, you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised, oh, Father. I thank you, oh, Father, for your love. I thank you, oh, God, for your peace. I thank you, oh, God, for your joy. I thank you, oh, God, for your faithfulness. I thank you, oh, God, for your unconditional love. I thank you, oh, God, for your temperance. I thank you. I said I thank you, oh, God. I thank you for your long suffering, oh, Father. We think that we, oh, God, is going through so much but father you oh god been through it all oh god since you oh god created the earth hallelujah oh god touch us our touch our hearts right now touch our hearts right now massage it oh father where it's stony oh god massage it oh god where it's broken massage it oh god where it's hurting massage it oh god where it's honoring massage it oh god where oh god is prideful massage i said massage our heart in the mighty matchless name of jesus i say thank you I say thank you. Now, Lord, I'm asking, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. I, 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 I love them. I said I love them. I said, I said, I love him. I love him. I, I said, I love him. I love the Lord. I love him. I said, I love him. I love him so, oh, Jesus, I bless your holy name. I love him. He's kept me. He's kept you. 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 Yes, he's kept you. He's kept you, Pastor Bishop Reed. He's kept you, Angela. He's kept you, Aunt Gwen. He's kept you, Jacqueline. Uh, you know about it. He, he's kept you, Lee. He's kept you. He's kept you. Victoria, I said he's kept you. He's kept you. He's kept you. 
he's kept Sandra. I said he's kept you. Now, if he's kept you, you gotta be a keeper of him. Good God Almighty, you can't allow nobody, nothing, or no place take you out of the will of God. Hallelujah. I said you got you got he's kept you. He's kept you. I said he's kept you. Now you gotta keep him. Good God Almighty. I, I love him. I said I love him. I said, I love him. I said, I love him. I bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. I say, I bless his holy name. Oh, God, the enemy tried it, but devil, you lose again. We back and we ready. Good God Almighty. I said, we back and we, I said, we back and we ready. Hallelujah. We touching in the green right now for the healing of a uh, 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 little bit's uh, body. Amen. I, I bless God. I bless God. I, he kept you, Jennifer. He's kept you, Terry. Good God. He's kept you. He's kept you. You better keep him. I, I, I promise you, you better not negotiate your salvation. You better not negotiate your peace. You better not compromise your love. Oh, God. Agape love. Oh, Good God Almighty, you better not compromise it. You better not give it up. You better not give it up. I said you better not. Amen. Hell is real, and I'm not going. And anything attached to me can't go either. Hallelujah. That's why we're here today for the teaching. We're here today for the teaching. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, let me tell you something. It's a lot that we're going through, amen. Each of us has a testimony. Each of us can tell how the God has been gracious to us, but we can also testify how the enemy has come for us, amen. How the enemy has whispered in our ear, how the enemy has st stood toe to toe with us, amen. How the enemy, I said that dumb devil, then came and tried to mess with a child of God by standing forward. Yeah, and see, now we gotta learn how to properly address the enemy. Good God on my bad body language. Lord have mercy. I said bad body language. I said bad body language. I said bad body language. I'm going to read the scripture. Tag share, post your people. Uh -huh. No compromising. No negotiating. Uh -huh. No thoughts. Good God. I said no thoughts. Yeah. I got to think about how the enemy go try it because I know he got a job, right? But now I got to think about how God said that I have a life that's more abundantly. So if I have have a life more abundantly, I cannot sacrifice or forfeit mm -hmm, or put into question, Lord have mercy, what God has for me. You got to stop compromising. You got to stop negotiating. You got to stop putting into question. You got to stop that fear. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You got to stop doubting. Hallelujah. Uh huh. You got to stop questioning, uh, asking dumb questions. Lord have mercy. Well, can God do it? God can do whatever he wants. Can I do it? You can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens you. How he gonna do it? He said, wait, I will say wait upon the Lord. Uh-huh. He said, what what he say? I said what he said. Good God Almighty, do you know your word? He said, don't worry about anything, but instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him. I said, thank him for what he already has done. And then you'll, oh God, receive a peace that surpasses all understanding. What you got to think about? You see, you got to think about true stuff. Stop thinking about the lie. I told somebody today, you so focused on the problem, God can't even turn your head to show you the solution. Why is that your body language? Your, your stiff neck, you won't even turn your head. Mm. Body language, bad body language. I said bad body language, bad body language. Amen. Bad body language, bad body language. Amen. You got haughty eyes. Lord have mercy. Yeah, yeah. Let me get to my scripture. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ahead of myself. I'm ahead of myself, Deborah. I'm ahead of myself. You praying for me, sis? The Bible, the Bible in Romans 12. It's a familiar scripture. One and uh, uh, two, right? It says from the uh, English Standard Version, it says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, that is a... Uh, um, that's not only for men, that is uh, uh, together, men and women, by the mercies of God, comma, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Good God Almighty. <laughs> your spiritual worship. Uh huh. Your spiritual, spiritual worship. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Uh huh. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I want to I wanna read it from the Message Bible. I wish Lil' Bit was here. Lil' Bit, I miss you. Uh, hun, the Message Bible. The Message Bible, sis, the, mes the Message Bible says it like this. So here's what I want you to do. God's helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. You heard what the word say. You heard what the word said. You heard what it say. You heard what it said. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. That's why I said he's a keeper. You got to keep him. If he's a keeper, you got to keep him. I'm going to say it again. If he is your keeper, then you have to keep him. Amen. It should reciprocate. It should come back. Lord have mercy. Uh-huh. Yeah, a little bit. Look what it say. It says, don't become so well adjusted to your culture. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that. That you fit into it without even thinking. Lord have mercy. Help me. Instead, fix. See, fixing is an action. Fiction is a believing. Fiction, I said fixing. Fix. F-I-X. Fix your attention on God, you'll be changed from the inside out. Lord, have mercy. The Lord said, help, help yourself, daughter. Help yourself. Help yourself. Oh, I can see. Jesus, I thank you. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognizing what he wants from who you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture you're around, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity. God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. Lord, have mercy. It's the word. It's the word, prophet. It's, it's the word. Let me let me take it to, uh, uh, can I give you um, the, the Greek definition? Holy, holy. See, holiness, amen. Your bad body language, it, it, it is... Um, uh, a kryptonite. It, it, it doesn't allow your holiness to come out. Good God Almighty. It says, excuse me, set apart by or for God. Holy, sacred. Get this. Holy is different. <laughs> I'm just reading the definition. Unlike others, otherness, right? Holiness for the believer. It means likeness of nature with the Lord because different from the world. Woo! Yeah, uh huh. It's it's challenging to be holy. Yeah. Uh huh. That's why your body language is jacked up. Uh huh. Acceptable. I'm gonna get to the body language. Uh huh. Acceptable. Well pleasing, especially to God. Acceptable is grateful. I'm just reading the definition. It's the Greek definition of acceptable. Y'all see how I'm using my hands? Body language. Body language, yeah. What is body language? Body language is the type of nonverbal communication where physical behavior is used to convey information. Mm. As opposed to words, such a uh, physical body language often includes facial expression, uh, in expressions, gestures, body uh, posture, eye movement. Uh, and touching. The scientific study of interpreting body language is referred to as uh, K-I-N-E-S-I-C-S. -S. Okay? Amen? Check this out. Body language is not only powerful, it's usually re uh, reliable of revealing your true feelings. Your true feelings, your true feelings. However, body language isn't completely reliable if the person expressing it knows how to manipulate it well. Are you a manipulator in your body language? You say you good, you smiling, amen, but you thinking the thoughts of how you can kill a person. Good God Almighty, you smiling, amen, and you thinking, oh God, how am I going to devise this plan to get over? you? Your body language, amen, you saying you good, uh-huh, and you clapping and praising, but you dying on the inside. Body language, false body language. Let me tell you something. 
I'm gonna ask a question, and 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 if this hits you, if this hits you, if this hits you, if this is you, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is say uh uh clap or thumbs up or you know thumbs up, thumbs up, show thumbs up, clap, say that's me. That's that's all I want you to put in the comment box. That's me. Oh hey Kyle, how you doing? Uh hey uh minister, uh huh uh huh, Loretta, uh Loretta. Praise the Lord. Come on, Jared. Amen, Tara. Amen. Tag to your post, your people. Tag to your post. Have you ever gave a, a fake smile? Have you ever gave a dare uh, stare? A death stare? A death, you, you, you stared them down, wished them dead. I'm just asking body language, bad body language, which now is the opposite of your holiness. Have you ever smacked your teeth? Have you ever clapped your hands? while you was talking and you knew that was aggressive. I'm just asking the question, what about the leg shaking on the or the foot tapping? You know what I'm talking about. I wish you could see me right now. I'm shaking. How about deep breath in and exhale while you shaking your head? Whoo. You ever did that? I'm just asking if it listen. <laughs> I'm I'm only expressing what I did. What I did and what I do. I, I, I pray. Have you have you ever folded your arms and put or put your hands um, on your hips? Good God Almighty! Who has a pointing demon? I can't stand nobody to be pointing in my face. That's a pointing demon, Amen. And I tell somebody in a heartbeat, you need to put that demon in your pocket, Amen. Put your hands in your pocket. Put your hands in your pocket. That's aggressive to me. It, it, it's it's a it's it's a sign of aggressiveness, Amen. Put your hands in your pocket, sir, ma'am. Put your hands in your pocket, Amen. How about folding your hands together, shaking them back and forth? This me right here. Lord have mercy. Arrest my flesh, Father. Arrest my flesh. I got a t-shirt that say, you can catch these hands. And when I put them together right now, I say, Lord, I'm praying. I'm praying. Because this right here, you ever you ever just went into action? Uh, how about that? Bad body language. Lord have mercy. Uh huh. Have you ever uh, leaned your head back and said something foul? Jesus. I, I say Jesus now. But I used to, I used to cuss. I used to cuss real good. Ask Kyle, he know. Yeah, I used to cuss real good. Yeah, when you sit back and you think, you think about this right here, do you bite your lip? <laughs> mm. You holding back, bad body language. That, that speaks volumes, it speaks volumes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you, here you go. This one, you know somebody real mad. Mm-hmm real mad or somebody is plotting real good or somebody is thinking about doing something to somebody and, and they just they contemplate and they go see when they go strike when they go strike uh huh it's, it's not too many people that's giving thumbs up amen thank thank you angela thank you carol uh huh yeah thank you little bit that's it right there you you gotta be thank you deborah for i, I repent yeah uh huh yeah uh huh do you rock do you cry do you stare and shake your leg all at the same time? Bad body language, uh-huh. Holiness ain't nothing that right there. Because the Bible says, mm, vengeance is mine, thus says the Lord. But you plotting. Don't you know God hates a, a, a heart that plots evil? If you don't believe me, Proverbs 6, 16. Go on and read it. Matter of fact, let me read it to you. Let me read, let me read a little bit. Let me read a little bit for you. Amen. Proverbs 6, 16, 18. It says, There are six things the Lord hates. No, seven things he detests. Haughty eyes, body language, a lying tongue body language hands that kill the innocent body language a heart that plots evil body language feet that races to do wrong body language it's the book sis and and when you sit back and you think about all the times god has uh, uh forgiven you god has saved you from from the hurt harm and danger because of your body language Ooh, 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 ooh. How many times did you want to go upside somebody's head because of their body language? Uh huh. How many times you want to say something to somebody because of their body language? How many times you got a phone call and you heard the body language over the phone? Lord have mercy. Yeah, uh huh. Flip that thing. How many times somebody wanted to go upside your head because of your body language? How many times somebody, oh, good God Almighty, how many times somebody had to hold their tongue? 
because of your body language. I'm talking good to myself. When you sit back and you think everybody always say, Pastor Q, it's written all over your face. Everybody can tell when I'm upset. It's body language, facial expressions, amen. But I'm here to tell you that there is a way that you can change your body language. What it is, I'm glad you asked prayer. Good God Almighty. Uh -huh. I'm not here to uh, always tear you down. There has to be a tearing down and also to build you up. I can't I can't feed you uh, uh, in, in old wine skin and giving you new wine. It's against the book. It's against the Bible. It's against what God says. If you want new wine, good God Almighty. If you want, you want new wine, you got to have new wine skin. You got to have a, a renewing of the mind. Amen. You got to have holiness. You got to be acceptable to God. That's your whole body. Mm. Come on, Carolyn, your whole body. My face tells it all, sis. It tells it all. It tells it all. But you got to understand, you have to be the one that mirror check one, two, one, two. You got to check your body language first. You can't sit there and then point the finger at how he is sitting, how he, how she is sitting, how they are acting, what their body language is, yet you don't check yourself. Good God Almighty. And then let's flip it. When somebody come to you, come here, Pastor Q. I'm so glad you're saying something. Yeah, when somebody said your tone is strong, it's offensive. When your your eyebrows listen. <laughs> am I the only one? Am I don't kill me? I'm am I the only one when the eyebrows go up? Listen, that's that's speaking something, amen. Yeah. With, and who, who got the neck demon? <laughs> I know you just did. I, what you say? No, no, uh-uh. No, who, who got the neck demon, amen? I'm just asking the question. Who got the folding of the arm demon? Who got the rocking demon? Who got the rocking demon? Who got the tap, uh, tapping your feet demon? Shaking your leg demon? I'm just asking the question. Uh-huh. When, when you sit back, just go on and say, yeah, I got some of those demons in me, amen? It, it, it's a perception of how we truly understand the, uh, us being representative of christ amen christ christ ain't christ ain't developed that he he ain't correct uh create that that's the devil that's the devil because uh god is love right now, i ain't gonna say that god don't get upset because it's his word says uh i, I get angry before a moment Amen. We get angry and be angry for months at a time. We get angry and be angry for years at a time. But God said he get angry and be angry for a moment. I know, I know the uh the 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 time is different, amen. But God never wanted us to hold the grudge for years. Good God Almighty. Don't use the word. Mm for your benefit. Well, God's years is, is in one day is a thousand years to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he say. But he never, if God was to take us as we do people, then get this, God would never have taken your salvation and allowed it to come in that day, that moment, that time. He would never take your uh, apology, your repentance and say, you know, I accept it. No. What if he held a grudge with you? I'm just asking the question here. What if God said, no, you didn't done it too many times and I'm not going to accept your uh, uh, repentance prayer this time. No, nope, no, we expect God to accept our prayer. We expect God to accept our apology. We expect God to forgive us, but we won't return the same expectation. Good God Almighty, I bless you, Lord. I love you, God. We expect God to be a forgiving God. We expect him, oh God, to be a loving God. We expect him to be long-suffering. Do you know how how long it took me to be a whoremonger, but how long it took me to be a well-kept woman. We expect God to have grace and mercy when we in our mess. Oh God, he understands. He understands well. Your heart is foul. It's deceitful. But God said, I've been patient with you, uh -huh, but you can't reciprocate that same patient with your body language. You tell them to go to H-E double hockey stick, one-way ticket. Uh -huh, and God said, I got a heaven waiting on you if you repent, but you will hold somebody hostage uh -huh, because of their body language. She rolled her eyes at me. She uh, she twisted her neck. She done said something foul out her mouth. She done clapped at me. Yeah, let's get it popping. When you sit back and you think about how you expect God to forgive you and all the stuff that not only you did to him, but his people. Don't forget that everybody else got, uh, got a daddy too named Father. 
uh, her name the Son and named the Holy Ghost. Amen. Not only are they messing with a child of God, guess what? Flip that thing. You messing with a child of God too. Y'all mad at me, but it's okay. I love Jesus and he loves me. Uh huh. When you sit back and you think about this thing, in order for you to change your body language, you got to go to God in prayer. Uh huh. Don't you know your body language and in, 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 in the foulness thereof that you can switch that thing to a living and holy and sacrifice, a holy sacrifice that is acceptable to God? I'm just asking the question. You can pray. How can you pray? You can pray seated. You can pray kneeling. You can pray uh, uh, stretched out. You can pray laying down. But will you pray or will you stay uh -huh, with your foul body language? I'm just asking the question here. Is that all right? Is that all right? We ask God to forgive us and with our body language. How? Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Here you go. I told somebody today. You fail to give grace but you desire grace. Amen. You fail to give grace, but you desire grace. You expect God, you expect God's grace upon you, but you won't give grace. How long did it take you to say yes, Lord? How long did it take you to change from cussing and fussing and praying? How long did it take you to uh, stop smacking your teeth? How long did it take you to stop rolling your eyes? Or are you still doing it? I'm just asking a question here. Amen. Uh, I don't roll my eyes. They just get big and my eyebrows go up. Still foul language. It's still foul. I, you, you, you go from one extreme to another. How long? Right? You, you, you got to actually take the time to ask God to massage your heart. Ask God to come into your heart. Stop giving God prerequisites as to when he can come in. Well, they pissed me off. Or I, this is the way I was raised. Or this is how I was taught. God, prerequisites. And that's why God can't come in and change your foul language. That's why God can't come in and change your tongue. That's why God can't come in and change your heart. That's why he can't come in and change your mind. <laughs> Lord, help me. Help me right here today. Tag, share, post your people. Amen. I'm asking you to share this video. That's all I'm doing. Be a, 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 an evangelist. Be a disciple. Be a carrier of the gospel and just press share. <laughs> That's all it takes. You share everything else. Help me, Jesus. Here you go. When you sit back and you think about this thing right here, a seated prayer. Seated. S-E-A-T-E-D. A little bit. I just spelled. Uh -huh. A seated prayer to inquire. This is this is the the differences of how you can change your body language through prayer. Uh huh. Seated to inquire, seek counsel or guidance. This is when you sit alone with God and enjoy His presence, communicating and dialogue or simple meditation on your heavenly father. Submit, surrender, and let him know we want to walk in obedience and serve him. We sitting down. We sit, I'm sitting in my chair. And I just prayed. That right there, that's that's an inquiry. I was seeking wise counsel from the Lord. I was in, I was asking for guidance. Amen. I was I, I, I'm alone in my, my prayer room right now. You're alone where you are, but get this: we are alone with God and we enjoy his presence. We can enjoy his presence together as we sit together. That's why it's so imperative to uh be at a prayer meeting. Thank you, Father deliverance won't go to prayer won't go to prayer <laughs> can you come to prayer uh-huh i'm just asking the question can't get on the prayer call uh-huh but you will you will call god at 6 30 
but you won't get on the prayer call at 6.30. You'll call God at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but when he, he nudge you to go and pray for your coworker, when he nudge you to go and, and pray for that person on the bus stop that you're standing next to, uh-uh, you can't do that. Good God Almighty. When you sit back and you think about it, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You can't get 2 o'clock in the morning. You can't get a hold of your pastor. You can't get a hold of your mentor. You can't, ah, oh, Lord have mercy. You can't call your mama. You can't call a deacon or the trustee. You can't call the first lady. You can't call a motherboard. You can't call, you can't, I said you can't. You can't call nobody. But you call on God and you expect for him to answer. Good God Almighty. It's yeah. Prayer. I'm talking about prayer. He said, oh, now you want to change your bad body language to a posture that I will accept. You want to kneel now. Good God Almighty. You want to kneel. I'm I'm losing folks. Kim, Kim Johnson, I'm losing folks. Tracy Flood, I'm losing folks. Mark, Pastor Mark, I'm losing folks. Amen. Terry Cott, y'all stay on. You did this, this it, this it. Little bit, little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't call nobody else, but you can call God because uh -huh, he's never a God that slumbers or sleeps. He's never a God that is unavailable. He's never a God that puts you on hold. Uh, hold on a second. I got another call. No, he's always available. He may not answer when you want. Uh -huh. Look, 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 look. He may not answer when you want, but he will answer you. Amen. Yeah, he, he it's kneeling time. When you go into a kneeling posture of prayer, listen to this. You 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 are humili it's a humiliation part. It's a submission. Kneeling honors. Kneeling shows a complete surrendering. Amen. Uh, uh supplications and petitions made known acknowledges Christ uh lordship over one's life. When you kneel, uh-huh, when you kneel unto God, when you kneel unto him, that shows humility. When you kneel unto God, get to your knees. I got bad knees, Pastor Q. You won't if you start praying and touching and anointing your knees. Good God Almighty. Don't you still believe in miracle signs and wonders? Miracle, don't you believe that by his stripes you heal? And if he just decides, oh God, to keep you afflicted with some knees that are challenged that doesn't preclude you from laying on your face. Good God Almighty, it doesn't preclude you from laying on your back. How about this? It don't preclude you from being seated. Matter of fact, it don't preclude you from standing up. So I, I got some, I got some more, I, I got some more, I got some more uh -huh. kneeling, kneeling. Humility, submission, honor, and complete surrendering. That's that's nearly, amen. Uh, uh, it acknowledges Christ's lordship over your life. Stop, stop, stop always, you know, saying what you can't do and tell God, thank you for what he's going to do. I can kneel. I want to kneel. Father, I want to kneel and I want to pray to you. So allow my knees, oh God, to, to, to be, oh God, suitable to pray unto you. Speak that thing as it is. Amen. Good, good God Almighty. Here you go. When you go uh, uh, laying flat on your face, prostrate, that's what it's called. That's an urgency. That's an emergency. Humility, releasing all ego. Down. Down. <laughs> down you're down you're down completely down surrendering confession repentance desperate pleas or cries intercessory prayer for others or standing in the gap did y'all know that intercessors I know you know. I know you got to lay before the Lord. That's what we say, right? We got to lay before the Lord. How often do you lay before the Lord and intercede on somebody else's behalf? How often do you lay before the Lord? I ain't say sit. I ain't say kneel. I said lay before the Lord. Lay before the Lord in humility. Uh, lay before the Lord in submission. Lay before the Lord because you honor him. Lay before the Lord because it is an urgency. Amen. It's an emergency for you. This is where you confess totally. Laying before the Lord. Straight out. Face down to the ground. 
good God Almighty, amen, it's the desperate pleas or cries, did you know that, lay before the Lord, yeah, you can sit, that's to inquire, that's seek counsel, that's guidance, yeah, sit alone with God and enjoy his presence, there's different uh, uh, postures that you should be receiving to change your bad body language, Y'all feeling me? Is it, if, 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 if it's okay, just go on and say, uh, continue. That's all, because I only got a good uh, 17 minutes. Amen. Laying before, laying down before God. That's resting, enjoying the presence and the goodness of the Lord. Be still, be quiet. A busy mind and an anxious heart can't receive can't receive what is going what is uh happening in prayer your body language you got to be in a still place when you laying down that's why when you, you you people i tell people now if you go lay down in the bed and talk and pray to god you got to make sure that you're uh, alert <laughs> good god almighty sometimes you got to change the posture with the request what to what's to receive absolutely uh miss angela you absolutely right that's why i said that the seated part of prayer is to inquire to seek counsel we're, we're sitting right now seated this is this is prayer teaching is prayer as well i get to that uh, on another day but teaching is also prayer because in the teaching aspect of it you're asking god for guidance yeah and in that guidance we're we're having an open conversation and teaching from his word amen uh uh kneeling that's humility submission honor and complete surrenderance and then you have laying prostate you, you're prone you're you're laid out face down amen that's an urgency that's an emergency that's humility that is releasing all your ego i don't have nothing to give nothing to i i, I nothing else nothing else uh, yes, don't be laying down going to sleep. Absolutely. So oftentimes, people, if you know you tired, it's best that you kneel beside your bed. That's why we that's how we was taught in some of us. I ain't gonna say everybody, but that's how I, my household was taught. My grandmother, we kneel beside the bed and we pray. Amen. Before we got in the bed, because we she told us if you get in the bed and you sleepy and you start talking to God, and I ain't saying it ain't, it ain't bad, but it, it ain't good either. Amen. <laughs> you need to be able to finish your prayer, your thought, your adoration, your your honoring to Him, your thankfulness to Him, your gratefulness to Him for allowing you to get through the day. Amen. You get in the bed and you start, Lord, I thank you for all that you you go to sleep. That ain't good. <laughs> you said, Lord, you acknowledged him. Yeah. You, you, maturity allows you to understand that when you want to talk to God in a sense of how you want him to answer, you got to be alert in it. Right? So you kneel, be, be, kneel. It, it'll take a minute or five or 20 or a half hour, however long you pray before you go to bed. But I, I, when you lay down, to pray that laying down is to rest and enjoy the presence and goodness of the lord and sometimes that resting right allows you to go to sleep after you talk to him right it says be still a, 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 and quiet a busy mind and an anxious heart rape makes you race right then you go into bad body language you fidgeting you twitching you 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 turning and tossing you're restless right that's 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 not a good spirit to have use to uh meditate on him and his precepts right may also be a pros uh, a posture of exhaustion vulnerability a posture of complete trust in god you have to be vulnerable each and every time Good God Almighty. Each and every time you go to God, and rather it be seated, rather be it, it it be kneeling, rather it be laying flat on your face, laying, uh, rather it be laying down. You have to be vulnerable with God. He already knows everything because he's a God of omniscience. He knows you. He knows every hair on your head. 
He knows the thoughts before you even think them. He knows the next move you're going to make. He knows already, but because he desires an intimate relationship with you, good God Almighty, you have to be vulnerable. Uh -huh. We're vulnerable to so many things. We're vulnerable to so many people. We'll open up our whole heart. We'll open our whole spirit and let all types of stuff come in. Amen. Uh -huh. I want to be her bestie. I want to be his bestie. I want to be in a relationship with them. So I'm going uh, to be vulnerable. I'm just going to let them know. I'm, I'm going to let them know all about me. I'm going to tell her my good, my bad, my ugly. I'm going to be transparent. Come on. What word you use? Uh -huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be just run, straight, no chaser, wrong, right, tough and tight with them. I'm just going to let them know how it is. It is what it is. I'm, I'm wide open, pastor. We wide open. But as soon as God, as soon as God say, I just want a little bit. I just want a little bit of you. You shut down. Good God Almighty. I don't know how to pray. Yeah, you do. If you know how to talk, you know how to pray. Uh, well, I don't know, Pastor Q. Well, come to Divas for Christ, Kings for Christ. Amen. I teach you how to pray. Jesus taught the disciples because the disciples asked Jesus, teach me how to pray. If you don't believe me, read Matthew 6. Lord have mercy. Uh huh. You, you 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 can you can tell somebody off. You can cuss them out. You can let them know exactly how you feel. But when it comes to talking to that demon, when it comes to talking to that foul spirit, when it comes to talking to them imps, when it comes to talking to the devil himself. You get a uh, shut mouth, uh huh, uh huh. You you, you clam up, uh huh. You I, well, you know, I just didn't want to say nothing because, it, and you use every excuse. It wasn't the time. It wasn't the place. Uh uh. It ain't none of my business. Uh huh. Your body language, uh huh. In the prostate of prayer, your body language needs to change. You need to sit down somewhere and pray. Good God Almighty. You need to kneel down and pray. Uh huh. You need to lay on your face. Good God Almighty. And pray. You need to lay down and pray and ask God, how is it that I can change my body language that would change the atmosphere when I walk into a room? How is it that I can change my body language and I can change a person's mind when they uh, are down and out and I'm praying for them? How is it, God, that you can use me in the, the, the stillness of chaos? Amen. You in the middle of a storm. You can't think right. You can't act right. Your body language talks all of how you're feeling. Flip that thing. I taught earlier the manipulation of your body language. No, I'm good. And you dying on the inside. Oh, and you smiling. You got on your smiling mask today. Amen. You got on your laughter mask today. Amen. And you, 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 you hotter than fish grease. Body language. That's all I'm talking. Body language. Guard your heart. Uh -huh. The heart above all else. Yeah, we got to guard our heart. But you know what, Pastor Mark? I said it earlier. Can, ask God to massage your heart because your heart has been hardened. Amen. Your heart. You, and get this. God ain't even hardened your heart. Uh huh. You allowed the enemy to harden your heart because of your body language. And you refuse to change your posture in your body language, which is prayer. You refuse to sit down somewhere. And, and and pray. Here you go. Flip that thing. You refuse to stop going uh uh so fast. Amen. Life is passing you by. You won't even go. You so embarrassed to go up to the altar. And and, and check this. I I I I'm I, 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 straight. No chase. A wrong. Right. Tough and tight. You ain't got no altar at home. So while you're watching TV, the the, the church on TV, you on Zoom, you on uh YouTube, you on everything else. And when they say go to the altar, if, if you had an altar in your house, maybe you can join in in the prayer uh huh at your house since you won't go to the house of prayer. Good God Almighty, I love the Lord and I ain't afraid of no demon, amen? Y'all better be praying for me. When you sit back and you think about this thing, if you are challenged, <laughs> oh God, help me, Father, help me. You need to understand 
that you need a place where you go to pray. You need an altar. You need an altar. You need an altar in your home. God showed it. He showed it. He shut the world down. You need an altar. You ain't had no church house to go to. Uh huh. Your, your home should have been the sanctuary. You ain't had no altar to go to. Lord have mercy. Uh huh. You should have had a, a, a altar in your home. You, uh huh. You, you, yeah. Lord help me. Don't have me. Prayer. That's how it is. That's how it is. That is how it is. That's how you change your body language through prayer, right? Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. I bless your holy name. Um, uh, we we not we supposed to st never stop praying. Uh, never stop praying. First Thessalonians five and seventeen in the New Living Translation says, "Pray without ceasing." This is our communication. Ne to never stop praying. Right. There's no right or wrong way to pray um, or one position of prayer that is superior to another. It depends on what the problem or the request or the petition is. Here you go. Can we flip it? Can you pray for thank being thankful? Can you pray for gratitude? Can you pray for God's mercy of, of showing uh, uh, how he saved you from danger seen and unseen? Can you pray and tell God, thank you for strengthening my, my, my body? Can you pray? and tell God, thank you for increasing my faith. Can you tell God in, in prayer, thank you for enlarging my territory of peace? Good God Almighty. Oh yeah. Ask God to enlarge your territory in peace. Not just in your bathroom. Uh-huh. How about can it extend to the living room where all the chaos happened? How, how about that? Can it extend to the dining room table where we can all sit down and have a dinner together? Amen. Without arguing with one another. Can you can you extend the peace? Oh God. Thank you, oh God, for being intentional. Oh God, for increasing my goodness. Thank you, oh God. I didn't have it, but you told me to give it, and I obeyed you. Thank him, oh God, for supplying a uh, double, a hundred times folds of what you have gave. Oh God, I gave a ride, didn't have no gas. Good God Almighty. And then, mm, when I got home, Lord have mercy, uh, somebody rang my doorbell and said, Pastor Q, here's a card for you. Lord have mercy. And guess what was in it? Some money. Uh huh. When you are obedient and when you are praying and when you are directed by God to do something, you need to understand he shall supply your every need according to his riches and glory. You got to stand by his word. Uh huh. Everything, oh God, is right in your eyes is not righteous to God. Lord, I bless your holy name. Uh huh. I do the right thing. I'm a kind person. I don't bother nobody. I ain't in nobody's business. I ain't told nobody's business. I ain't done nothing to nobody. I'm good in my little corner. That's why you, you, you won't grow because uh -huh, you stay in your little corner. You stay in your own little zone. You stay over there not bothering nobody. That's not what God has called us to be. He called us to be disciples to go out and teach this good gospel. He called us to be, oh God, his representative. Yeah, you supposed to, oh God, still away Way to be refreshed, to be a uh, uh, re, uh, regroup. You suppose, but baby, you got to come back. You got to come back. You got to come back out. You can't. Mm -mm. He ain't happy. He ain't happy with your body language get, sitting over there in the corner with your mean mugging self. He not happy with you sitting over there with your arms folded saying, I ain't helping them. They get on my nerves. I ain't doing nothing else for them. He ain't happy with that. God is not pleased. He ain't happy with you saying, that's on them. I ain't did nothing. I ain't getting in that. Uh-huh. Don't you know that you see a problem over there and you may be very well picked to be the solution, but because of your body language, because of your mindset, because of your hard heart, things won't get right because your unrighteous self won't go over there. Good God Almighty. I thank God. I thank God for being set aside. You got to embrace what God has called you to be in this season. You got to embrace, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I felt that right there. When God tells you to go into the midst of chaos, when God tells you that it is your season to be the one that speaks righteousness. You can't sit there and argue with God. 
Oh, why you do that, Pastor Q? Why you arguing? Don't you know Jacob? He 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 messed up his hip. Don't you? Uh, but he was fighting for a blessing. He wasn't fighting against God. Can you fight for your blessing? You want your your children to be blessed, but you sit back and with your mean self won't uh, go before God in His throne and repent for being a bad parent. God, I bless your holy name. You won't go back and apologize to your children how you have treated your children, how you neglected your children, how you, oh God, told your children. You you spoke some negative and some curses over your children, but your prideful, uh -huh, remember, destruction comes before pride, but your prideful self won't go and humble yourself. Lord, have mercy. Don't you know God uh, honors those that humble themselves, who humili humiliate themselves to make Make righteousness right uh-huh yeah yeah you point the finger you can write a book about everybody else but won't write a sentence about what you've done god i bless your holy name i said your body language your body language i said your body language your body language just write your body language, your body language, your body language. Pastor Q, you came for us. Yeah, I came for you because God said come for you. He is tired of his people with the lip service. He's tired of the people with the bad body language. He's tired of it. He is tired of it because as much as grace and mercy as he has shown all of us, we won't show to his his son and his daughter who needs it greatly. Uh huh. That the, those you didn't you didn't you didn't came through a lot. Oh, good God Almighty. Uh huh. You he he help me, Father. I thank you, Jesus. He kept you from all types of diseases that you know you should have because you was foolish out there doing whatever you wanted to do unprotected. You, you didn't protect yourself from sex. You was using all types of drug needles and puff puff pads. You don't know what that person had. You were sleeping in all different types of houses. You was driving drunk. You was driving high. You was going on. You had stuff in the car and you knew it wasn't yours and you knew it wasn't legal. Good God of my, didn't he save you from that? But as soon as you see the drug dealer, as soon as you see the prostitute, as soon as you see that uh, that person that's gone astray, will you kneel? Will you sit? Will you lay flat on your face? Will you lay down and pray unto God, asking God to give them the same grace and mercy that he showed you? I'm just asking a question here. I, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking, cause see, I did it. I still got some, uh, uh, some stuff that I'm working out with my family. I ain't perfect, Patty. It, it, it ain't happened all the way yet. But I, baby, I tell you, uh huh. I pray every day. Uh huh. I got a prayer wall. I got a prayer room. I got an altar. I go before every. Every place in my house got something talking about God. I'm reminded of God's grace and his mercy in every room that I walk into. God, I thank you. You got to understand, amen. If you want God to forgive you, then you're going to have to forgive those who have wronged you. You ain't perfect, Patty, either. You still got to work on your, your mouth. You still got to work on your eyes. You still got to work on your hands. You still got to work on tapping your feet and shaking, rocking back and forth. You got to ask God. You got to ask God, Lord, I need you to help me with my stony heart is broken. Don't you know God loves a broken heart? He is the one that can truly fix it. He is the one. God is the one. He's willing. Are you willing? He's able. Are you able? He's ready. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Write this down. Uh-huh. W, willing. A, able. R, ready. Are you warring in prayer? Are, do you have a spiritual warfare fight in your language of prayer? Can you sit down and just open the word of God and ask God to talk to you through prayer? Good God Almighty. I thank you. I said, I thank you, Father. I thank you. All you got to do is trust him. Malachi 3 says, try him. Try him with your money. Uh-huh. You always praying about finances. Lord, give me this. Lord, change that. Lord is saying, try me. If you tithe, yeah, y'all want to talk about tithing, but that part too is your body language. Because as soon as the kingdom asks for see, you get your mouth get all closed and, and your arms get to shaking and then you get to turning your head and you ain't listening. You tighten your, your good God almighty. You tighten your, your pocketbook. Your wallet is real thin. Uh-huh. You, you, you send cash app. 
Yeah, I'm coming for you. Uh huh. You Uber Eats. You 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 go and spend all your money on food. You got, you got the best of and finest of clothes. You get five haircuts in a week. You 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 got your 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 weave. That that five hundred dollars for a bundle. But as soon as the kingdom asks for a good seed to sow into it, so that you can be blessed. You get up out your seat, won't pray. You won't. You're definitely not kneeling. Uh huh. You ain't laying on your face, and you're laying down chilling. Good God Almighty. Yeah, yeah. I said it. I said it. I said it. The Holy Ghost says, "Say it." When I, I didn't talk about how you 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 want you want things to change in your life, but you won't sow a seed in it. And now let's transition from money. You won't sow a seed of happiness, joy. You won't sow a seed of peace. Uh huh. They mean, and I don't want to be around them. Yeah. Well, God's saying you got all this peace within you. Can you share it? Good God Almighty. Uh huh. Uh, this means war. Come on here. Yup. Because I'm willing. Yes. I'm ready. Uh huh. And I'm able. Show enough is. And God has been too good to me for me to tell him no, that I ain't going to share some of my peace. I share my peace on the street. I tell people in counseling. I even have a, share a little bit of my home. Y'all know I'm 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 very particular about who comes into my home. When God tells me to be hospitable, I open up my doors. But you have to understand that you have to guard your heart. My heart is in my home. My peace is in my home. My patience is in my home. My faith is in my home. You have to guard your holy ground. Good God Almighty. Can I come to your house and pray them demons out your house so you can be peaceful in your house? I'm just asking a question. Can I come to your house and open up the windows and, and, and anoint your kids and your husband or your wife, the, the mean folks that you keep coming, letting in and out of your house? Can I pray for that? Can I come? You 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 ready to really get delivered? Are you re Are you really ready to uh, uh, get a new life on God, with God? in God. I'm just asking a question here because the Bible, the Bible, I said the Bible, uh, uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2. It says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. See, if you get cleaned up, ooh, huh, y'all go hold on, just give me five more minutes. You get cleaned up, you get your deliverance. Here you go, you go to church, you get your deliverance, you feel good, everything is right. God then spoke to you, you have filled him, you 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 felt him, amen, you felt him touching, you got up, snot falling all over the place, you ain't care that your, your, your skirt was up, your pants was down, you ain't care about nobody looking at you weave off uh-huh your, your hair cut off jack you ain't worried about none of that but as soon as you walk through them hell doors of your home uh-huh there there goes the salvation uh-huh there there go there here comes back here come back the uh demon body language here come that foul mouth can't you need to clean your house of those spirituals uh-huh spiritual what you're talking about those spiritual demons that live in your house they have sat back took residence they feeling good and they telling you to get the hell out and you saying okay bye I, the devil is a lie god said that i have ruled you i have allowed you to come in the presence of me don't you know who i am all you gotta do is speak to a thing your body language through prayer should keep kick them demons out. Your body language through kneeling should kick the demons out. The body language through laying out on your face should kick you're not welcome here. Matter of fact, go to a dry place and not to return. And stop telling the demons to go to the pits of hell from which they came. They go go there, but they ain't, they go come back. Why you say that, Pastor Q? Let me teach that right there. Uh huh. You want to know why they go come back? Because hell has not opened yet. They don't. They can't get into Hades gates. The gates ain't open. Y'all speaking a thing through tradition and what people, what you've heard people say. That is not. That's not spiritually correct. Stop sending them to hell. They're going to go 
You're going to have the power to send them, but that power is not going to keep them there because Hades gates has not opened yet. And, I, and why is that? So glad you asked because judgment day is not here yet. So the demon is going to sit there and look at it. I can't get in. Let me go back. That's why the word says when you sweep your house clean, he go go to and fro. And then he, and I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing. Read the Bible. Amen. It's in the gospels. How about that? Go to and fro. It's in, in James two. It, to and fro. It's not in my notes. It just came to me. Go to and fro. Right. Jo, uh, Joel one, two. He said it. The de the devil said it. I'm going to and fro to see who I can devour. Right? When you sit back and you think about this thing, you say the things that you have heard, and 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 you 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 take it as the gospel. It's not the gospel. Stop sending demons to hell. Send them to a dry place. Send them to water. The pigs. They went in the water. They drowned. Okay. Send them. Don't send them to hell. Hell, hell gates ain't open. I send that demon back to the pits of hell from where they come. I want sometimes when I see hear that, all the time when I hear that, I just want to go up and and tackle the person and snatch the mic and say that's that. Don't send them to hell. They coming back and they coming back with seven demons that's greater than them. Read your Bible. It's coming back seven demons greater. You have to study thyself approved unto God for yourself so that you can rightly divide the word of truth to let you can be a workman a workman a workman right of the gospel I thank you guys I got more I'm gonna come back um because I'm I'm gonna deal with uh the body language if you will um the bad body language i'm gonna break some some uh some words down um i'm gonna actually give some scriptures into um seating uh the seated prayer uh standing prayer amen kneeling prayer laying on your face prayer i'm gonna stay in a uh, bad body language as 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 it uh pertains to prayer in the way in the different positions to pray and i'm gonna back it up with scripture so next week i'm gonna start with um standing prayer and and i'll probably get into um what's my next one uh kneeling standing and kneeling a lot of times people think that standing and kneeling is is uh it's the simplest but it it, it takes a lot see we don't reverence god in a sense and i'm just gonna give you a little bit when we stand in, in, in prayer, it while we're standing, we're standing for adoration. We're standing for thanksgiving. We're standing for worship and praise. We're standing. We should be standing in awe. I say, when you stand before, and this is what I teach. I try to tell, uh, show it. And a little bit will be here to, uh, next week to help me. But when you're releasing, have your hands, your palms out to God. Releasing all because it, it comes from the heart out. But then when you go to receive what God is saying, your your hands is in and then you can take and then receive. I'll teach that on next week. Amen. So tag, share, post your people. Listen, our Mother's Day tickets uh, for the raffle basket, I, I believe is pretty much sold out. If you want a, a Mother's Day, um, inbox me. But I am asking all those that is under the sound of my voice right now on this under the sound of my voice right now i i see 20 of you that's on with me i'm asking you to sow a seed of ten dollars ten dollars if you sow a seed of ten dollars you will be sowing into the father's day raffle basket and that is a gift of four hundred dollars cash right four hundred dollars cash and then a, a little um relaxation um package they're going to get a, a gift certificate to massage envy they'll get some uh, men cologne and lotions and stuff like that but it's ten dollars it's ten dollars um please um you can zell um your bank to my bank if you cash app and i'm asking that you add a dollar or two because them, them fees is taken away from the ministry and we having to um own up to that we got a uh 
you know, make it balance. That's all. Amen. Ten dollars. Father's Day is coming up, y'all. If your daddy is is still with us, I ask that you sow that ten dollars, and maybe he'll be the one. If not, sow it to a man that you know is 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 a, a father. Amen. Is a daddy who wants to be, who's trying to be. I'm gonna teach that. I'm gonna teach a little bit on that in in June. But um, I'm asking. Please so see ten dollars. That's all I'm asking. Amen. And then I will. Uh, what's the cash app? Dollar sign. Pastor Q. D F C. Dollar sign. Pastor Q. D F C. Amen. And then I will um, take a picture of your ticket, and I will inbox you that picture to show you your ticket number and your name has been submitted. Amen. This is a ministry of integrity and honesty in Jesus name, integrity and honesty. Amen. None of us is going to hell for $10. I promise you that. <laughs> to God be the glory. I love you. If there's anyone under the sound of my voice who has not accepted the Lord uh, Jesus as their savior, uh, repeat after me, Father, I am sorry. I repent for all that I've done against you, myself, and my fellow brothers and sisters. Please forgive me. I ask that you, oh God, come into my life because I believe that you are the son of God who has come to the earth, who was crucified, who died, and who rose again. And one day you'll be coming back for your people. And I am one of your children today. So Father, I thank you for accepting me as your child. I am saved. I am redeemed. I love you, Lord. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Love you all. I see you on next Tuesday. Tag, share, post this live. Tag, share, post. Tag, share, post. I promise you. If it's blessed you, then you should bless somebody else. In Jesus' mighty matchless name. Amen. Amen. And amen.